The Bananas win 6-3 on opening day over the Macon Bacon. Welcome to the Ripe Rundown. I'm Biko Scala, and I've got two stars of the day. I have Danny Oberst getting a massage and Nick Clarno, the massagee. Let's go see what's up. Danny, my man. Your first Bananas home run ever, and you guys win 6-3 over the Bacon. Now, how are you here for three years, and that was the first time you hit a ball out of the park? Oh, man. Just, you know, I told you on the podcast I thought I hit one fair that last year. <laughs> they called it foul, so that would have been my first, but I think it came at the right time. Tonight was the perfect night for that it. Ball didn't go foul. <laughs> no, there's no doubt about that. I don't think the ball went foul either, Clarno. Now, the night started out on a great note. You guys had a lot of practice in the JK wedding recital. I, do you guys feel like that really like, fired you guys up? Yeah, I think myself and the guys really got into that. It's not hard to when you got a guy like Clarno on the team. I mean, he came up to me before, gave me a little pump-up speech, told me we need your all. You're either all in and, or you're all out, and that's what we did in that wedding. Now, you guys fell behind early, a little 2 nothing lead right off the bat for the bacon, but then you tie it up on Ty Jackson coming in, and I got to tell you, I thought he pulled his hammy, and then all of a sudden, he's twerking it out. I feel like there's almost no way to lose a game after a scoring run like that. Yeah, you know, I didn't think there was anyone on earth who could out-energy Nick Clarno, but Ty might have it. I mean, the guy steals a bag, and he's twerking on second, so he might be the guy to beat out Nick in that department. Yeah, the guy's an electric factory, there's no doubt about that. Now, it did get a little hairy late, 4-3 game, and all of a sudden you got the petty cab coming from the bullpen. Jacob Barker yeah. comes in, 3Ks, shuts it down. How confident were you once you saw Jacob getting pedaled out to take the mound? Jacob's legit. He was in my conference. He pitched for Valdosta State, and he closed against us, so I've seen him throw. I never had a doubt. I know what he's capable of, and I knew he would settle in and get the job done. Last thing for you, Bill Leroy caught a ball off the fence bare hand. He thought it should be an out. Do you think we should change the rule and that could just be an out in the future? I'm going to go with yes. The stadium would love it. I would love it. You would love it. Uh, people watching the stream would love it. Nick would love it. So, yes, we should change that. Okay, I got one more for you, actually. How excited were you to see Nick Clarno round in third after he put that ball to the left field wall and drove in a couple runs, even though he was out by 15 to 20 steps? You know, that 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 goes down to uh, me and Nick's home run race. He saw an opportunity to tie it up, and he tried to take it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Bananas win 6-3. Danny, thank you so much for joining me on the massage table at home. Nick, thanks so much for being the massager, buddy. No yes, sir. Thank you.